Hey guys, so I am back with Kathy Rain, a detective story. Uh, I think it's I think it's called that. Um, I I like that it lets me manually save the game. So I saved at the last place, and it's called Nice Chat Nana. Now I was doing the voices in the last episode because I don't I can't hear the audio very loud through my my headphones. They only kind of have one ear in. <laughs> And so I couldn't actually hear the voices. So I thought I had to do the voices. And then when I watched it back after I'd uploaded it, it was like me and the people speaking at the same time. So f most annoying first episode ever. So I guess I don't have to do the voices now, but maybe you want me to do the voices. I don't know. So I'm not going to do them in this one. Um, but let me know. Um, leave me a comment if you really enthusiastically feel like you want me to do stupid voices. <laughs> so you can laugh at me um yeah let me know so let's load and see what we have to do next so i think we did everything here right um yeah i guess i guess we're gonna go did we have to go to a place i've got a memory like a sim i can't remember. i'm gonna be so bad at this game because i literally cannot remember what we had to do uh, so we've been to the graveyard we've been to um to see nana uh, and so i guess we're gonna go to the sheriff's station <laughs> it looks like looks like the game's leading me in that direction uh let's go and talk to young cop hello young let's look at them look some young cop looks a bit familiar See, that does not sound loud, loud to me at all. Um, options, hey, speech What's volume, I've got up. Uh, I don't know, hold on a second. Okay, I fiddle with it. I think I've got it about right. It doesn't sound loud to me at all, but hopefully it's okay for you guys. Uh, so, uh, return, uh, resume. Young cop. How's the paperwork coming along? Oh, look at young Some cop. young cop. Uh, Looks okay, a bit familiar. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel. Who are you talking today. to, young cop? Again? Oh man. Hi. Hello. Oh, I, I quite. Hi, young cop. Do you I are, have to uh, commit a crime to get your attention? Uh, because I seriously nice will. Your little portrait man, there. I'm really quite busy at the moment. Oh, he's telling hey, me wait. up too. I like it. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but. Not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Oh, I hate when this happens. It happens to me all the time. I've got a bit of face blindness, so some, it, I find it really hard to recognize people sometimes. I kind of, like, have to go off other clues, like the sound of the voice. Like, I can see their face. I can see, like, their eyes and the nose and the mouth, but I don't see it as, like, one whole piece. I see it as, like, sections. So it's, like, it's hard to kind of... If people change the hair or, you know, like, I, I, I might I might recognise someone by the way they walk or the hair or the voice. So if they grow older and the voice changes or they change the hair, I might just not be able to recognise them. <laughs> um, I, I can't do it. And I can't pretend to recognise people either because then they think, like, they say things and I think, well, it's worse then. If, if after I've been talking to them for 10 minutes, they realise that I don't have a clue who they are, that's kind of worse. So I'd rather even though it's so awkward and I hate it and it's like one of the most socially like awful things I kind of say I'm really sorry I'm not very good at recognizing people I can't I'm drawing like, a tell blank. me who you are really you don't remember us playing when we were little kids no not literally no really. <laughs> like, sorry buddy darn well that's a bummer anyway what can I do for you today well see now we've hurt his feelings this happens to me in real life and it's not good it's not good uh, right, okay, what's the incident in 81? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The Tell sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Okay. Well, so, gotta go. See ya. Bye. What's on the bulletin board? Various notices and a wanted poster. Is there a mailbox bandit? Like and tell me why. I want to solve the mystery of the mailbox bandit in this game too. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Land of the free. Uh, I don't want to click on that. It might make me sit down and I don't want Lenny, to. Double doors? Do How can I help us? Doors. It's my mother's Cut double doors. Not sure where those doors I'm lead. Might be worth checking out later. Uh, oh, okay. Like what? I don't really know your mother. 
Anything on the desk? Sakes, Might be something same. useful in there. Oh, so we, are we going to have to get I'm him away from the desk? desk? Interesting. Oh, I don't think it's a new uh, game, by the way. I think okay, it came boss. out like... Um, several years ago actually but I think it might be new to the Xbox Game Pass or something I, I'm not quite sure I said I think I said it was new last time and then I looked again and it wasn't new I'm just stupid and don't do my research so hey, sheriff? Uh, hello What's sheriff with that bum? let's just what talk bum? to him what bum the one in the oh, don't you look at my bum hello sheriff do oh, you have a moment? don't comment on it you know not do it really. kind of make subtly it not really make it quick all right fine do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81 he had a stroke in the woods that's what happened if that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. Aww. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Yes, get your tinfoil hats, get you know your what colanders. They say. Things too good to be true usually are. Love a good conspiracy. Now he um he was talking about him her grandfather having a stroke in the woods and do you know, I think things are getting a little bit lewd here. What kind of a stroke in the woods? I'm being silly, I know what kind of stroke they mean. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Oh we'll find Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state they ain't. Hmm. Come on, Sheriff, what's the big deal? But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? Lenny, a little help here. I don't think Lenny's going to be able to do much, but I'm amused to see what happens. Lenny, so. a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, Put boss, she is his there. granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. <laughs> I'm the only one in here who cares about the law. Yes. Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. There's no such thing as too you much coffee. See inside of a cell. Oh, cuff me, officer. <laughs> Spare Sexy. me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. <sighs> Just I like this game. <laughs> like everyone else. I don't know this nonsense. Fine. Oh, cuff me, officer. Right, remember that one for later. Right, okay, files. Let's look at the files. Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. <laughs> police reports. That's what they label it as. Police report. How's paperwork coming along, Lenny? Just uh, some photo. Okay, I, I can't see it clearly Maybe from here. Thanks. So can I go closer That's and be no nosy? Good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Don't mind me. I'm just looking around your yes. office. Just some photo. Oh, I can't see it clearly your from here. Why in front of it? By your growling stomach, Lenny. If you say so. Oh my God! Feed your workers. If he's hungry, let a him eat. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably oh the mayor. It's always the mayor. Poor guy in a suit. That sounds a lot like Lex, Lex Luthor to me. Guys, we've solved the mystery. Lex Luthor did it. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. A gold medal of some kind. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly. Okay, so the plan is to definitely get into these double doors. So hey, let's just try and do it. Do see if he tells us off. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. Oh no, he just let us he just let us walk into the <laughs> He just let us walk straight into the area with like the the awful criminals. He could be a murderer, a rapist, and he's just let us go into our chat. We didn't even ask any questions. Okay, talk talk to Bum. <laughs> hey. What? I can't hear you. Why can't you hear? Are you missing a hearing aid? Can I help you with that? If I get you a hearing aid, will you talk to me? Hey. What? I can't hear you. Okay, fine. Can I hit him with the mop? Clean floor with the mop? Huh, oh, very funny. <laughs> Why did you put it there then if I couldn't do it? Oh, turn it off. There we go. So maybe that's a bit loud and that's why you can't Thanks. hear me. That was getting annoying. There we go. Oh, he's, he's a happy bum. I like him. Let's talk to bum. Hey. I wonder if we can let him out. Hi there. Ask what he's in for. Persuade him to distract Lenny. Ask him what so, he's in for. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. It always is. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. Totally legit story. That's the story. worst excuse I have ever heard. 
For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I Wait, take my no, last statement no, back. Than you this think. excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. <laughs> oh. uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. That's we a good story. I like the layers. Um, okay. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna come gotta back go. to him. See uh, ya. Bye. So No wanted him. posters. I'm disappointed. I know. I want this to be a wanted poster of us. Various tools. Grab various Too heavy tools. to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Mm, okay. That's good to know that there's various tools there, though, for later. Think about Brilliant idea tools. to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. I mean, yeah, they just literally let us in here. We could use something to open the jail cell. Could... A jail cell. Looks cramped. I definitely want to break him out of the jail cell. I don't know just why. Just a bunch of boxes <laughs> filled with just office supplies. Chaos, Right, so we're going to want to get the guy to distract Lenny, obviously. Hey. Hi there. He's, I bet he wants something. I bet he wants something, though, first. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. We don't even hmm. know his name. I don't I'd want to say keep my services in this matter are worth at least well, maybe I do. 20 bucks. See, I told you Nine. I'd want something. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. <laughs> she went Seven. down. <sighs> Deal. She, she started so, uh, and she went down What am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. I mean, he could we'll do. Out, reach out and get that mop. Like, this is, this is a terrible police station, I have to say. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. <laughs> he tells oh, us now sorry. after we've been in I there I just heard someone minutes. yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, oh, what now? Get closer. Right, he's okay, gone. He's I gone. have to make this quick. Okay, what am I doing? Files. Just get them. Just grab them all. Put them in your pockets. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. This was a lot easier than sneaking into the police files in Tell Me Why, I have to say. Uh, okay. An individual was encountered on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Conwell, Conwell Springs, blindly walking forwards with his eyes wide open. Blindly walking forwards with his eyes wide open. Hmm. Seems a bit con contradictory. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. Where did you touch him? Because that, you know, the kind of response you get does depend on where you touch someone. Um, he appeared to be dirty. <laughs> I bet he was. <laughs> From head to toe. And <laughs> wet up to his knees. <laughs> this game is bad for my dirty brain. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, complete with a tape. Hmm. <laughs> Not film, then. <laughs> Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. <laughs> Picked up by Mrs. Rain and brought along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the com community clinic. Upon routine inspection of the control patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded on the back seat, filed as evidence in locker five. So I assume we need to get that. Hmm, I'm going to have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. <laughs> that was easy. I like this game. It's nice and, nice and easy. It's nice and straightforward. I approve. Right, just one second. I think I heard my son uh, wanting me, so one second. No, apparently I'm not wanted. I'm just imagining things, which is fine. Uh, okay, so uh, yes. we need to Maybe find the through. lockers then. So Where would the lockers be? Within? I don't today. remember seeing lockers. Again? But oh man! <laughs> you just let me go back in again. Uh, boxes on shelves. Oh, lockers! I just didn't walk enough in this direction. Evidence lockers. Uh, open evidence lockers. All right, got it. Brilliant. What did we get? What what did we get? Uh, oh, the dictaphone. Okay, examine it. Remove the tape, or combine dictaphone. What do I combine it with? 
Note to self, remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. The source. Interesting. So I guess we have to go and look in the attic then, right? Um, okay, what I want to do, just in case they try and take this off me, maybe I want to remove the tape from the dictaphone. I might be able to put more tapes into it or something. But I thought maybe they might take the dictaphone off me, but I could keep the tape, possibly. Maybe, perhaps. Uh, right, so I guess I want to go and explore the attic then. I, I, it didn't let me do that last time, but maybe it'll let me do it this time. Oh, do I want to talk to him again? Hi. Hey. Thank you Hi for there. distracting people for us. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, Thank gotta you. go. See ya. Bye. Bye, bum. I wish I'd asked you your name, but it didn't give me the option. I'm going to call him... Um, um, what's a good name? He seemed quite happy. I'm going to call him Gilmore. Right, right let's go. Here. Bye, How can I Lenny. Help it's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A uh, gift? Like what? Right, so we want to go back to uh, Rain Residence. Back to Nana's house. It's funny that it's just not letting us go back to the dorm. Right, I don't think we need to talk to her. <laughs> we'll just break into her house and go directly upstairs. I should it's probably fine. ask Grandma first. Oh, okay. The game has better morals than I do. <laughs> Fair enough. Have it your way. Hi, Nana. Oh, hello, dear. I don't have to do your voice this time. I've realised that you already have a voice. <laughs> you can you can speak all by yourself. Mind if we talk for I a think bit? My Grandma? voice was better though. Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Attic. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Oh, she's coming with us. I kind of wanted to do it on our own and be safe. Thanks, sneaky. Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. Oh, she's so nice. Bye, Nana. I love you, Nana. I like the way she went down the stairs. It was like, brudder, brudder, brudder. Uh, light bulb. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Do you have a light bulb? I don't think we've got a random light bulb. But maybe. So is it going to make me go back downstairs and find a light bulb? Is that what the, is that what the game's making me do now? I don't think I have anything in my thing, do I? Oh, I can use the lighter though. Light room with Zippo lighter. Cool. Nah, it's drafty in here and almost out of fuel. Oh. Gonna need it for my smokes. Uh, right priorities, right? Um, okay, right. Well, I guess we have to look for light bulb. Can I take this light bulb? I mean, none of my fall over though. I feel bad about doing that. One second, I think the cat wants to leave the room. Okay, yeah, she's left. Let's have a look at the table lamp instead. Remove bulb from the table lamp. I don't want Nana falling over with, with not having the main lamp on. Free okay. light bulb. Score. <laughs> Free light bulb. Uh, right, okay. Upstairs. Upstairs we go. I do like games like this. I definitely think I should play... Um, blah, 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 what's it called? <sighs> do you know, one day I'm going to grow a brain and it's going to be amazing. Um broken sword the broken sword games is definitely a mission the bulb looks burned out i'll have to replace it okay so i guess i have to click on the bag light bulb combine light bulb with the light bulb to make one super there we go. incredible awesome light bulb of awesomeness there we go okay so i should be able to click on things now Let's have a look. Uh, I can probably put that away. Shelves. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. Fair enough. Some fuel there. Could top up the lighter, right? Uh, book. Take book. We have a free book. What was it? <laughs> Maybe I should have looked at it. A math book? Oh, put it back. <laughs> I actually used to like maths in school. I was, I was quite good at it. 
How stale? Is, let's look at it first. Decades old coffee. Lovely. Uh, yeah. I'm good, thanks. Oh, it doesn't let me be diabolical. I mean, all coffee is good coffee, coffee it right? It looks like someone was doing geometry. I can't make much sense of it. An old typewriter covered in cobwebs. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. Drawers? Search drawers? Nothing. How about the, these ones? Empty. Right, if I was secret squirrel stuff, why would I hide? If I was like... A worn office chair on wheels. Notes. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. Oh my god, do it. Do it near the stairs. It'll be, it'll be great. Um, briefcase. Briefcase. Oh, it's going to have a combination lock, isn't it? Oh, look at the little teddy. <gasps> Maybe the teddy's a clue. Hmm. Locked briefcase. So maybe we have to go and ask people about the locked briefcase. Um, what's Mr. The Bear! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? Oh, see, she's Good idea. all hard as You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. You know, back in the dorm room, she was all, Oh, that other girl's bear got far too close to my lighter. It wasn't my fault. And now she's all, Mr. Bear! Bear, how did you get up there? Right, so I think maybe we need to go and talk to Nana about the briefcase. We need some kind of. Hang on, how, go back. How many was it with like five digits we needed? So one, two, three, four, six. Uh, numbers. It's just a number combination. So let's a just. A leather briefcase sealed by a combination lock. So we need a six digit number. Right, get your Nancy Drew hats on. Six digit number. This may be a bit more tricky than getting a light bulb out of a table lamp. I mean, we had a choice there. It was tricky. I, my Libra brain, my Gemini moon, um, had a bit of difficulty making that choice there, but we made it. Finding a six digit combination number oh, lock hello, might dear. be a bit trickier. Hello, Grandma. Uh, do you have the code for the briefcase, please? I don't think it's going to be this simple. But Mind we if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Why have you got a 20-year-old coffee up in your attic? Why don't you clean up there? I found a locked briefcase in the attic. Do you know anything about it? Oh, that old thing? Joseph said there were just some old boring Air Force papers in there. If that was the case, why use an intricate combination lock? That's a very official good question, secrets, Official dear. secrets. In any case, I wouldn't know how to open it. Uh, oh, maybe it's in the math book. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday bought once. bought him a math book. He was birthday. always fascinated by numbers. He believed right, that math clue, could guys. explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. Right, okay. Might be upsetting. I got the dictaphone today. already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Okay, so do we have to play the dictaphone? There's a strange her? message left on this tape by Grandpa. He describes making a perfect what bouquet of flowers. Three yellow. That's hot. One blue. Two Joseph red. never used to give me flowers. I have terrible allergies. <gasps> That's it. Maybe it's some kind of code then? Yes. Your guess is as good as mine, dear. All right, this is the code. There were six flowers, right? See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. All right, there were six... There were six flowers and the six numbers. Um, well, just the tell tape me Grandpa had it. on him when he was found in 81. No, okay. Combi I want to listen to it again. Combine it with that. And then I want to listen to it again. Do I have to rewind it? Oh, this is like so 80s. I love it. <laughs> right, okay, go. Note Light. to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three, three red roses, red, one blue, a blue violet, yellow. and two yellow roses, tulips. Violet, tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway... I'm getting closer oh, to finding the source. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a theory, the name of our but I need help. 
I'm going to have to involve somebody else. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you, Grandpa. Um, let's have a look at the maths book. Uh, oh, look. Yellow. Right. Red. Prime numbers. Th uh, roses. I think roses were red and there were three of them. One blue. And two yellow. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> this went from like being super easy to super hard all of a sudden. Uh, I think I've got the right idea though. What's that on the coffee table? Right, so we, we're, we're on to it. We know what we do. We've got a brief idea of what we're doing. A brief case idea, if you will. Uh, let's go back over here to the briefcase. Okay. I think I'm remembering it quite clearly. So it was definitely three red, wasn't it? Three red. Uh, so two, three, five, maybe? Maybe it's just like the first three, two, three, five. So I like that it stays and it doesn't reset. Two, three, five and then what was next it was one blue one blue so one and then it was a uh, two yellow so three one it might be like the placement after the thing though. Three, one. Yes! Yes! Look at me, big brain! I am Nancy Drew, Scooby Gang Extraordinaire. I'm so pleased with myself. Like, can I open it then? Open briefcase. Oh, this is amazing. It's got an envelope inside, guys. We're not even gonna look at the rest of the stuff. It's obviously the bright yellow envelope that is important. Right, what's in here? Envelope. Combine it, open it. Let's oh. see what's in here. There were two pictures, Ooh. a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. Another tape. Overexposed picture, so we can't look at that, right? Photo soldiers. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight train. Flight train. McConnell Air Force, McConnell Air Force, Air Force 1941. Base, 1941. Ooh. Right, okay, we've got more clues to talk about. Uh, newspaper clipping. Read Tragic newspaper drowning clipping. in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead oh, no. near Conwell Lake. Are we dead? The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. Okay. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Suspicious. It's a small key, fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. Okay, so we need to find something to unlock with the key. Right, I guess we're going to combine the cassette then, right? Um, oh, do I have to uncombine? Yeah, I have to uncombine that one. Because that's a word. Um, and then get this new one and combine it with the dictaphone. Is it rewounded? Yeah, it's rewounded. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her first born. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Yeah, I want well, to see anyways, the baby. I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. Okay, bye, Charles. Charles, you can... You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call. Don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. All right, calm down, Karen. 
Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. <laughs> I, it happened to me, too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. I swore, I swore. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. Okay. I wonder who this cocky is. <laughs> I really want to meet Cocky. Cocky sounds like uh, quite the guy. Um, I'm going to start calling myself Cocky. No, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, let's see what she has to say. And I think I'm going to call it there for today. She doesn't have anything to say. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going to call it there for today because I'm hungry and I want to go and get some food. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll play some more of this later. Enjoying it. I'm happier that I don't have to do all the voices, <laughs> even though it was quite funny. Um, you know, I, like it's a lot it's a lot to do all the voices so i think i'm happier just making stupid comments about people called cocky <laughs> and people getting uh, what strokes in the woods <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to take my childish brain elsewhere for a while. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a like if you liked. Uh, subscribe if you want to and you haven't already. Leave me comments. I love seeing your comments. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for all your support. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.